This is a 317 Arlock. I think we've seen a 2022 in this. I don't think we saw one last year. Right, is rated for full time living. Show price 66, six, sorry, 69,995. So 70 grand. Okay, a little outdoor kitchen, mini fridge. Let's go in. So this is a little bit more compressed than some of the last one that we've seen, right? This isn't as long. Um, so this one's only 36 feet. Dry weight's 10,800 pounds, right? So, you know, a bit of a smaller unit, obviously not small, but smaller for fifth wheels. And everything is in reverse in this one, meaning TV's on this side, your theater chairs are on this side, okay? Um, and the little snack tray's out. Look at this. Oh, we were Here's just your, talking about that. This man. is a full-on TV dinner tray. This is not a snack tray. <laughs> we could use a couple of these. Um, recliners are manual, all right? You've got your sofa on that side that pulls out. See Stacy Stewart collection, which to me looks a lot like the other collection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, you got your uh, cabinet above that goes all the way. I like these cabinets. I, I just I like the feel, the look, the texture, the color. I, I like these. Right. They're very complimentary with the the dark chocolate. They they are. They yeah. really are. And and again, remember when we get in the kitchen, this is a, sort of a two tone, meaning the kitchen cabinets are different, which you'll see in a second. But the colors, these colors, um, blend. The other yeah. one that you were asking me about, the sofa had that kind of an orange. Yeah, to yeah, it. it was horrible. And it just it didn't blend. Yeah. But these do. These colors yeah. look nice. Big today. TV right across from your your um, your recliners, sound bar, fireplace, a mm -hmm. little bit of cabinetry above. I'm assuming this comes out. And there's storage behind, which it does. It's on an articulating arm, and you got some good storage back there. Yes, very okay? nice. That's where you hide all your gummies. <laughs> <laughs> your dinette is uh, like a regular table. It does have a leaf to come out so you can seat four comfortably. And then the kitchen, remember I was talking about, is two-tone. So the kitchen cabinets are all white, mm -hmm. right? So you got your, your um, solid surface. You've got a 50-50 sink, nice tall sink. You've got... Uh, Special water, right? You can put five gallon waters underneath, which we'll show you. Mm -hmm. So you've got your nice water faucet here for filtered water. Um, residential stove, gigantic 25 pound turkey type oven, GE refrigerator, refrigerator, microwave. Man, what a nice refrigerator that is. <laughs> You're putting like three gallons of ice cream and that's it. Anyway, <laughs> oh, microwave. That's, hey, we've been doing this for almost three hours. We're tired. <laughs> Okay, and you got four drawers down here. Okay, and then if Lisa comes around, you, you can put your trash down there as well as your five gallon water. Here, I'll take that. It's a little bit probably easier from my angle over there. There you go, there's your five gallon. Okay, and then there's a drawer right there as well as another cabinet here, which actually you're not putting very much in there. That's not very deep. No, it's right? not. And then you've got your Ever Chill refrigerator. Mm -hmm. There which... you go. Yeah, That's how you strap it in. Who was it yesterday was asking about how, how do you keep them in? This one, it's just straps. Yeah. Um, Some of them have locks and, and things to keep the doors closed. This one, yeah. <laughs> that is just B-E, B-F-E ugly. And what do you do with these things when you're I, That's what I'm parked? saying. Do you just drape them down the side and then you've got the ones on the floor? I, I, I don't, you know... And maybe, maybe I, this I don't is just transit from the manufacturer maybe. and it hasn't been removed. That's my maybe. guess. Maybe, but I don't see any other locking mechanism. Mm, no. That's the problem. I don't see any other locking mechanism. No, that's true. I don't either. Yeah. If, if that's where it's supposed to be, that just, again, that's one of those things that you just scratch your head and go, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> All right. So you got your food pantry. Solid wood, adjustable shelves. They did that right, at least. Love that. Right? You got this <laughs> other area here with a couple of big cabinets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Lisa says, I got to think they got to do something different there. Uh, yeah, this I think that's just leftover from transport. Hang your jackets <laughs> in when you come in or use it for other storage. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll look around and see what another one looks like. All right, going up to the front, we've got our, uh, our bathroom. This toilet is definitely tall man approved. Good for the tall and the fluffy, okay? And then across we have our sink, nice extra countertop space for the lotions and potions, All right? It just looks like it's like a piece of wood. Obviously it's wood underneath, but that's just a covering, okay? It's not like butcher block or whatever. Oh, hey! Yeah, there goes the gumball. 
<laughs> yeah, she's she's telling us it's blinking red at us. It's gonna like go flat and turn you guys crazy in just a minute, y'all. Um, uh, the medicine cabinet backlit. Love that it's backlit. Open here. Okay. Shower is basically flush to the floor. I mean, there's a slight little lip, but once you get in it, you're at the same height. I mean, the same yeah height as the floor. You're not like six inches off the floor. As you can see, because of that, I have great clearance up here, guys. All right, so I'm not even in the bubble. If I was in the bubble, 610 at least. Shower head's in a good place. It's just a nice look and feel in here. And it's a generous, this is a two-person shower. Lisa and I are going to be in here conserving water. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> okay, here's the master. All right, RV King for sure. Uh, there's no nightstands left and right, but there are these tables. That's what they're, they're meant to be, nightstands. And they are big enough for CPAPs. And there's power right down there on that side. And it's the same over here on this side. All right, this uh, lifts up. You got your extra two chairs for your dinettes down there, as well as tons of storage. Yeah. Boom, across from the bed, your seven drawer, just like the other one. And they're decent, they're not bad, I think they're decent. Got your place for your TV up there and uh, power and whatever, okay? A nice big, nice big window. I like that. It's obviously an emergency exit too, but it's, it's, it's nice that it's big. So many windows that are emergency exits are kind of small. Uh, trust me, it's an emergency. I'm going to get through there. But, you know, you look at it, you're like, man, that's tiny. But not this one. I don't have to think about having to get through there. Big closet up in the front, guys. Big hanging bar that goes all the way left to right. So you can hang a ton, ton of clothes. It is washer dryer prepped. So you're either going to do a, a combination washer dryer or you could do washer on one side, dryer on the other. Um, some little cubbies in there as well. Yeah, so nice unit. 